Hey guys, Tucker here bringing you some more Warcraft Freak action. Playing for this point in the north, we have Chimiko playing as human. Straight away for the Archmage. And from the south, we have Foggy playing as Night Elf and going for the Keeper of the Grove. A player's forces are under attack. Map is Tidehunters, and this one also from the uh, Netties Esports Tournament. Okay, so we've got a uh, footman in here doing a bit of harass on the wisps. Well, militia creeping out the expansion position quite quickly. Chimiko. Let's plus fight the, the item. Is under siege. And an expansion coming in from Foggy as well. Foggy does have a couple scout wisps running around, so are aware attack. of Chimiko's movements. So knows that he's pretty safe to come do this expansion. I'm going to get harassed immediately. Nice work there, keeping that wisp alive. Constructing a building, then cancelling it very quickly. The town is under siege. Mika also on the uh, defensive at the moment. Go for a nice easy camp from the to the expansion position. Same story for Foggy. So uh, yeah, pretty much exactly the same with their strategy so far. And looks like they are pumping out a good number of units. Foggy still making arches. Getting a Moonwell at the expansion position as well, so you know, if there is any fighting here later on, can use that to heal up. A player's forces are under stronger attack. defense. Chimiko determined to get that Wisp kill and eventually does force to detonate Foggy. You know, starting construction on those buildings and cancelling is not for free. Got some a little bit of resources. Oh, you can see he's at a kind of awkward value now. Shadows, not picking that up though. Both heroes now at level 3. And here we go, entangling starting on the footman. One archer going down. Forces are under attack. Chimiko going to stick around for the deny. Keeper going to come back in. No, Chimiko going to stay aggressive here. Maybe come in for a couple cancels on the entangling mine. But in the meantime, Keeper out the back picking off a lot of footmen. With the uh, level 3 entangle. So it's entangle after entangle. So many footmen going down. Tick started over here. The players' forces are. Oh, wow, Foggy's already way ahead in the ticking. But with all that whisper ash from that footman, Foggy might not have the lumber for that. But no, he is uh, well and truly in a good position. Shmiko a little bit ahead, getting on the uh, gold harvesting, and uh, maybe this water elemental going to take down two wisps. Entangling mine not quite done yet. So these wisps were vulnerable. Oh, manages to get that one away. And the footman not so lucky. Now going after the archer. Couple archers here. There's another entangle. There's another water elemental as well. He does have the boots, so able to run away from the keeper very quickly there. Oh wait. I wasn't double checking the experience. I did have the keeper selected. I think that might have been a deny though. Well done by Chimiko if it was. Did lose most of his footmen in that attack and did get a huge amount done. I suppose he did kill two wisps, was it? Hmm. Oh, maybe like two or three archers as well, actually. I forgot about there was a couple of archers that died around here. Well, we can take a look at the experience between the two heroes. So, uh, pretty similar. I think the they do do uh, roughly the same amount of creeping. So, maybe there was a more successful harass than I was giving Chimiko credit for. Forces are under attack. This is all nearly complete. Foggy uh, is a little bit behind on lumber now when it comes to building these laws. And 
and uh, maybe we're going to get cancelled. Here comes the AM racing his way into the base. We've got the cancel on the law. Gets it very, very quickly. And while the keeper going hunting for the footies. A town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. A couple of those off with the entangle. Panda coming in to defend the base with the assistance of one archer. Here comes the rest of the archers. Going for some more harass on these wisps. Training these moomos pretty good. Twenty uh, XP there. Maybe that's from Footman Entangled. Water Elemental gives more than that. So that was a deny on the Water Elemental. Chimiko. Players forces are under attack. Definitely aware of these nice. The town is under siege. And now. Ancient War Creeping, gonna try to get this panda up to level 3 as quickly as possible. Okay, farming up, big old farm wall there. Tough to break that. No towers though at all. Double Arcane Sanctums. No towers at the main rather. A player's forces are under attack. Could be vulnerable to an attack, you know those keeper runbys. Be very powerful. Town is under siege. Okay, another footman gonna get picked off here. Is that a deny from the panda just then? <laughs> deny was over here. Oh, blood mage second. I didn't notice that. I was expecting the mountain king, but okay. A player's forces are under attack. Let's see. Uh, Alchemist the other day with a heal spray trying to counteract the damage from the panda. There's another footy. He didn't end up making much use of defend. We saw him activated there. I don't really recall seeing it so far this match though apart from that. So didn't get very good value out of that upgrade. Well timed attack here. Gonna take down the construction shop. A player's forces are under and attack. Foggy with that shredder making up for lost time on the wood harvesting or lumber harvesting. Keep it chasing in. Looking for the AM, not gonna get it. I'll see it all for the water elemental kill. Here comes another one though. Got some dryad starting to come through now. Blood Mage meanwhile creeping the shop in the center, but here comes the panda, gonna look for some brick of fire, haze fire stealing. Oh, damage onto the AM, AM does have a heal potion, trying to avoid using it, and uh, the last bit of experience does go to Chimiko as well. And uh, focus down, Foggy doesn't have a staff. Let's use the heal scroll there. I'm not sure that was worthwhile. There goes one rifleman. I suppose it's worthwhile to keep the uh, panda alive, but I don't think anything else really needed that much healing, so a bit of a waste in that department. Was that another deny? Wow. <laughs> Jamaica. <laughs> He's off the charts. Push of regeneration used there on the panda, getting him up to a reasonable amount of health, I think it was. Health and mana. But overall that fight, not very good for Foggy. I suppose he did pick off one rifleman, right? But... Alright. Is five food ahead? No. Chimiko is starting to pump now. Putting some more farms, got plenty of production available. Just yeah, having to pump out the farms. Getting a whole boatload of upgrades as well. Foggy also taking some upgrades. Already got one damage, going for the one armor now. A player's forces are under attack. Here we go. Mortar out of position, getting caught. Getting killed. Well time dispel, but not quite enough to save that more team in the end. Now Foggy gonna be able to clean up the rest of the camp. 
Nico coming back in. Reposition now. Got Foggy. Hit level 3 on the Panda. And uh, happy to start fighting this one. And after the rifleman. Quite a lot of piercing damage in Shimiko's army though. After these dryads. But Shimiko bring in the militia, try and turn the tide. Not looking good for Chimiko at the moment. He's managed to lose most of his riflemen. They're running out of position, getting focused down really fast. But now the mortar team's out the back. Starting to stack up some damage. Foggy getting away with a lot of these low health dryads. I think the militia did serve their purpose. Assisting in this fight quite a lot. Now their duration has run out. Seems like Foggy reluctant to fight at the moment. And run away with most of his units very low in health. A player's forces are under attack. And a uh, no healing fountain on this map. Always tough to heal up dryads as well, since they also have a mana pool. Drain those moonwells very quickly. I need to buy a bunch of heal scrolls for that. Looks like the panda is at the shop right now, probably aiming to do exactly that. There goes one. And uh, mobilizing the low health drives to use the Moomos for any attack. of them. No wellspring upgrade yet. Probably just pumping the army upgrades at the moment. And there we go. Use the heal scroll just like straight away early in the fight. Looks like two of those drives might have been out of range of it though. Not the cleanest activation there from Foggy. Stuffing back with the panda. I'm gonna drain these Moomos. Panda gonna come in full mana. A town is Maybe drawing a mana potion as well. Foggy. A little bit of a run by. Harassing the peasant line. Does force a town portal back. Okay, mana potion and orb of venom. Got the anti-magic shell as well. So, a uh, pretty good counter overall to that blood mage. He's about to hit the level up himself now. Things are looking pretty good for Foggy at the moment, I'd say. Hero level advantage is, you know, starting to transition to some beers. Going for Ancient of Wind now. We're going to see a, uh, I suppose some fairies in the mix is probably the most likely option. <laughs> Keep tech coming in. I mean, uh, castle tech coming in for Chimiko. The town is under siege. Okay, so heroes on this side. A player's to forces are under attack. This dryad's trying to go for the main base. Both players splitting their armies. Flying machine keeping tabs on what's going down. And yes, indeed, it's going to be some fairies. Already one flying machine as a counter. And that's it, actually. Might need to produce one or two more. Which we go going for it. And there's water elemental, quite a few mortars in the mix now. He just finished an upgrade. Yes, second damage upgrade just completed as I was the checking. Players forces are one under one attack. on the breakers as well. Alright, looks like Chimiko. Ready for a fight. Foggy, maybe try and do a touch more creeping. And uh, gonna get creep jacked over here. Very quick dispel on the anti magic shell. Our player's forces are under attack. Try and get in there, closing the distance. And Chimiko town portaling out. <laughs> what? Chimiko coming in with the creep. Did he just attack his own dryad? Oh, Must click from Foggy. Is he trying to clean up some popcat? Maybe, maybe he's just trying to clean up some popcat, fit in a few other units. Dryads are very vulnerable are to the mass mortar teams. Very strange for Chimiko coming in with the creep jack and town portaling out very early on in the fight. Does allow him to secure the red camp though. Probably more experience overall down the bottom for Foggy able to get quite a few of these orange camps, so. Hmm. 
see if this pays off. What's the big item? Ooh, ancient Django. That's a nice one. And uh, also some shop control from Chimiko. Looks like he's hanging a around for the next heal scroll. Attack. Set up. You've already been a five. There goes off. Seeing my army location. And I think just going to be slightly under level five. Especially if the keeper runs back in. A town is under siege. And it looks like uh, going to go the main base. Well, for the expansion effect. Got some knights in the mix now. Guys, very clumped up trying to spread them out. Siphoning away the mana from that panda. It's the invol even. Here come a few militia as well. On the, on the reposition, well timed heal scroll for Foggy, I'd say. Don't strike going off. Not a huge number of bears at the moment. And can't really use the heal with the breakers there. There's mortar teams just slaughtering the dryads. The flame strike going off. Now we've got the fairies though, starting to do some work. They managed to take down the flying machines. And they are just ruining these casters. But double water elementals chipping away at their health. Foggy not taking them out of mana flea mode. There they go. Two hippos for Foggy. That's quite a few actually. Maybe expecting a couple more flying machines wasn't the case. Hmm. So as the dust settles, it felt like Chimiko did more damage to Foggy, but very far behind on the food count, so maybe I'm wrong on that assessment. But he did do a pretty good job keeping a lot of these low health units alive, I suppose. Player's forces are under attack. Now I can start to use the rejuve to heal them all back up. I suppose the AM is still not even level 5 after all this, so... Yeah, maybe he just didn't get that many kills. Felt like those mortars were slaughtering a lot of the dryads, but Foggy with some sharp micro. Dodging away pretty effectively overall. Now we have to start thinking about these Night Elf heroes hitting level 6 in the not too distant future. After another fight or two. And that is uh, really back-breaking. Both these ultimates are very powerful. Foggy sneaking another expansion down in this corner. But the flea is going off as well. So I think Chimiko aware of Foggy's location. Hippos though spot the flying the machines heading over seat. in this direction. Town portal though from Foggy to start the defense. Foggy in high upkeep, 10 food lead. And Chimiko also breaking into high upkeep now. Doesn't have much headroom though. Needs to construct another farm. Got two peasants over here idle. Maybe they could build. No, he went back and down into low upkeep. Okay, flat cannons coming in. And more war training. So it does have some nice tech to boost up his army strength. Foggy, meanwhile. Three armor upgrades, one damage upgrade. Good number of flying machines now, and they've all got in a fire on them. Also, a player's forces are under attack. Bobby doesn't have he's got three hippos They're going after the flying machines now. The flying machines doing a really good job. Oh, that was a reasonable breath of fire. Here goes the flame strike, torching all those bears. Flying machines are going to win the aerial fight. Oh, maybe not. Breath of Fire. And the two hippos hang in there. With around 50 HP. Overall, uh, again, a lot of damage done by Chimiko, but not a huge number of kills. We traded roughly evenly in terms of food there, but 
might be to Chimiko's advantage if he can come over here and kill this expansion before it really starts cooking. Since he is in a lot of keep. forces are under attack. I mean, yeah, lock keep compared to the high upkeep of Foggy. And much less tax. Ring plus four, but doesn't even have enough room to pick that up at the moment. Neither does the keeper actually back at the shop. Is it double orb of venom now? Not just the single one on the keeper. Two mana pots and the ank of reincarnation on the brewmaster. Oh wow, he's got backpack. He <laughs> backpacked the ring over to the shop there and sold it. That's that's funny. Oh, here we go. A the town is under, are under attack. Coming in for the base again. Town portal back again. A lot of wisps coming across. Got an aggressive town portal in position. Not the best flame strike to start things off. The machines out the back. Maybe avoiding breath of fire for the moment. Seems like the hippo is winning the fight anyway. The flying machines had that in a fire. Oh, the bear's starting to get quite low, but Chimiko's army looks like it's starting to collapse. Stride's getting in very deep here, going after the mortar teams, and Chimiko having to town fall out. I feel like those fairy dragons as well, doing a lot of damage. These fights just going so well for Foggy every time. Even if they start out a bit shaky, his micro's just been so strong. But at, at the end of that fight, Foggy actually below the food count of Chimiko for the first time in quite a while. Looks like he has lost a good chunk of his dryads during that fight, so that's probably where it all went. Oh, you're just pumping out the bears, though. So there's a good number of fairies. Three hippos as well. Should be able to contest the air reasonably effectively. But both of Chimiko's gold mines are now dry, foggy. Still a 400 left over here and is mining there as well. So Chimiko, the pressure's on. This next fight needs to be a strong one for him. Drops into mana flare mode very early on. Players forces are under attack aggressive positioning. Doesn't really have anything to keep these units in place. Where's the entangles? Okay, overall Fury doing some work. Got the militia in the mix now, hoping to swing the fight in Jamiko's favor. Level up for the panda. Let's put out mana for his ultimate. Big flame strike. A lot of these bears getting low now. Here we go, big level up on the Blood Mage. Ultimate ability from the Keeper, keeping everything healthy for the moment. Foggy slightly ahead in food count still. And Chimiko. Trying to get away now, maybe. Blood Mage in trouble. Activates the Invault. Water teams out the back, slamming all their damage on those Dryads. Now the bear's trying to run away, but they're slowed. The player's forces are under attack. And uh, looks like Chimiko going to win this fight. As it drags on, Foggy trying to disengage. If he had enough mana for the Panda Ultimate, I think he would have won that, but... Maybe he can come back in with it. Here we go, it pops the Ultimate. Good job, Chimiko, dodging away from most of the Breath of Fire damage. Chimiko eyes on the prize, taking down the expansion, town portaling out. Very clean play from Chimiko, dodging the worst of that panda ultimate. And now that's, you know, going to be on cooldown, not going to get almost any value out of that. Tree of Eternity though, walking its way back into the expansion position. Do we have any peasants left for Chimiko? Oh, one. That's it. One. 
So, players yeah, he can't attack. do anything, really. Oh, picks up the invol pot from the shop. He can't, like, rebuild his economy. So it kind of feels like it's on Chimiko to make the push. But it's the one Foggy in the aggressive position currently. Can't really fight into these towers. Was just the invol pot early. But I mean, if he can get a bear in return for that, he's probably pretty happy. Do have a staff on the panda. So I'm not going to allow that to happen. Tree of Eternity rooting itself down, starting up the entangling. Panda those, staffing back himself. Forces are under attack. In the bad position to use the moon wells to boost his mana back up to full. Gonna run across to the other base. But... Sorceress is not able to get in range of the bear for the slow. Looks like Chimiko gonna peel off, go for the Tree of Eternity next. Flare up over here, I think it was. So Chimiko, aware of Foggy's positioning, those flares do have some very big sight range. And here we go, starting up the fight. It's probably in Foggy's best interest not to try and fight in a choke point, given the flame strike. He wants to get out back to target those mortar teams. He's bringing in the trees to try and swing this one in his favour. And uh, a little bit late on the breath of fire action, just running out the back to the vulnerable the casters and mortar teams. Straight past the breakers. Gonna be able to pick off that knight there. And popping his ultimate as well. Make some pretty good value out of that. The bears back into the ultimate. Here come a wisp. A couple wisp detonating off the inner fire. Put a mana from the heroes as well. Mana flare. The town is under siege. So quite a lot of mana on the blood mates though. Another flame strike could be pretty nasty. Taking down the buildings as well. Rides coming in from the rear. So is the panda. The mortar team's getting slaughtered from out the back. All the mortar teams are down. Keeper in some trouble though himself. Oh, staff out for the moment. But it's staffed over to this position. Oh, the drive comes in there with the slow, able to run away to safety. Another big flame strike. Level up on the Archmage. Breakers getting low. So are the bears though. He's bringing in the other tree of life all the way from the expansion position, trying to get this fight going the way he wants. A Keeper still has a long way to run. Doesn't have the stuff of teleportation like the panda, so can't rejoin the action quickly. Yeah, running away. No, nope, running back in, and that's going to get picked off. Chimiko still just an army of water elementals at this stage. But that's enough to win these fights. Oh, I didn't even notice. Level up on the blood mage. He's got the phoenix now. Keeper looking to come back in. Panda also going to staff in. He's got his ultimate, I'm sure. Is this enough to win the fight? Keeper coming in. Entangle. Blood Mage. In some trouble. Has to pop the invault. What was... Oh, that was mass teleportation. I thought that was a town portal. Uh-oh. Blood Mage in some trouble. Oh, there goes the Blood Mage. Going after the Archmage next and Tangle. No casters for the Dispel, no Invol Potion. It's the kill. And Chimiko throws in the tower, wow. Oh man, I was like, why hasn't Chimiko's army left? It was mass teleportation on Town Portal. Man, I, I got caught off guard by that. Oh man, I think if Chimiko could have got away there, away from the Panda Ultimate, he would have ended up winning the fight. That phoenix just gives so much value over time and he killed almost all of foggy's army but foggy rejoining the fight ending up uh, winning that one had the expansion there as well so eventually would have overcome gg though very good fight right at the end from chimiko nearly turned it around but foggy with that cheeky trick i think he staffed the panda over to the main base to bring it in from the rear on those mortar teams and that worked a treat GG. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. Thanks for tuning in to some more Warcraft 3 action. Until next time, goodbye and good luck.